Welcome to a relax and paint this morning. And I am going to do some pretty irises on, on some scrapbooking paper that I made years ago. So pick up any kind of paper if you want something quick and easy. I'm using my double loader and I'm feeling it. I got floaty medium in the middle. This also has a lid and it also fits into my palette if I want to stand up and work on, on an easel. I'm going to pull out the colors next to each other that I want to use next to each other. And we are about ready. So I'm going to use my one-stroke brushes. Um, everything I'm showing you is available on onestroke.com. Okay. So, um, and it shows here, uh, I want you to see that you take off this, you dampen the sponge, and you put it here, and when you're in between painting, see these notches? You just line the notches on, pop it on, and it keeps your paint for a very long time. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a flower that I think you guys would probably love. And they're usually purple, but I have some different colors here. We're using multi-surface paint. It's wonderful. It's got a sealer in it, um, so you can go indoor, outdoor. So I think you'll really enjoy that. And so the first thing I want to do is I dampen my brush, laid it on the paper towel, and then I'm going to come between these two colors, working it in. All right. And I can even dip a little bit of cobalt blue. Now this is sap green and citrus green. And then I'll work some cobalt into the sap green and then I picked up a little bit more medium now I'm doing this on here because I want this to show up um, on this paper so I'm going to come right here and you see it got a little dry right in there so if it's dry sometimes you might need to make it go a little bit slower all right I'm going to pick up white on one edge because see this is such a dark color on here and I want some bright colors. So if I leave with the lighter color, it looks dark. Whatever follows is the color that you're going to see. So now I'm just going to take and get a lighter color because I dipped a teeny bit of white, worked it in. I'm going to put some blue on this other side on the sap side, get some more medium. Because these are long slender strokes, you need a little bit more medium, all right? So we're gonna come up, slow, 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 slow. And you can tell if you're gonna need more medium because it gets real dry looking. Now see how I'm turning this sideways? It's easier to, turn it at an angle like this all right and we might put some more in there later but i just wanted to get a few pieces of grass or blades of leaves underneath before we put some flowers on top and we're going to do irises today all right so thanks for joining let's see i'm going to take some of this little grass in front and it would go shorter. See how I cross over some of those? All right. Now, I'm gonna rinse that 16 flat and we're gonna use that for some of our flowers, okay? And I have a couple of other good colors in here that we're gonna use. But the first thing we're gonna do is I've cleaned this brush out and I want kind of half and half. So I'm gonna split the brush. Come over here and work it in, work it in, work it in. <clears throat> so we're going to get it again. This time I'm not going to push so hard. <clears throat> I'm just blending it. And we're getting, excuse me, we're getting the color I wanted. See? Now I can dip a teeny bit of medium. And then I'm ready. So now I can just grab a little bit 
or I can just pick up the one color that I need the most. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to, sorry, sorry, I've got this bad threat this morning. There we go. So now I want you to watch this edge. I go to a point. I'm going to come stroke again and to pick up more paint. And I can come back down like this. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to pick up a little bit more paint. I just want it to be more and a little bit stronger looking. There we go. All right. Now, <clears throat> you see, I keep picking up paint there, working it in. I'm going to get a teeny bit more medium again. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to come up from the side a little bit. And then the white. See how pretty that is? I want to turn it this way because I can get the other side. And I just want to dip white, flatten the brush. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. See, I made the white get a little stronger. And from that point, I push down. And then I roll it right there. Okay. So I think I could do the same thing over here. I think it needs... Well, oh, this is going to come back down here. See, if you want to add more, you just come right back over it. Same thing here. See, a stronger white, and then push, and then roll. Okay? All right. So now I want to, there's going to, this is kind of like a wild iris, I say. But or one of the really big ones. <clears throat> so I'm going to just put a teeny bit of that neon purple in there. So this is a multi-surface paint also, but it's neon. It's called neon purple. You see how I work it in just slightly? Okay, those two little pieces there. We're going to put some yellow in here. But until I do, I still want a stronger white. So you push and you come back down. See how it's easy with one stroke painting to fix anything that we feel like we need to do. So I'm going to come a little bit more, pick up some neon purple, make sure I have plenty of white. And if you have enough paint, you're probably okay without getting floating medium. But I'm going to come here. All right, then come back. And I don't have so much of a point this time. All right. <clears throat> so that's on the left. We're going to put one here on the right. I need a little bit more white. Now, this guy might just be in the background. He might not be showing as much as this one over here. Curve. And we'll roll it back up. See, is this showing kind of a little bit down there? <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to get a lot of purple and cobalt. Come right here, purple. That's neon purple, so it gives you just a fun look. All right. Now let's get strong white on one corner. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come right here. So if I go up and down, that makes it look ruffled. And then I roll it back to a point. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to do one more over here. And <clears throat> with that... <laughs> I'm just... This is a... What the heck's going on with my throat this morning? Absolutely fine. And here it is. It's just early, right? So we're going to come up. <clears throat> and there we go. 
And then we're going to come up here a little bit. See, sometimes you can just push and stand up. All right. Now I'm going to get a little bit more white over here. And this one, I just wanted a little bit different color. Okay, a little bit more over here. So we're going to slide it. So it's kind of like a fresh one coming out. We can come right down here, look. And I can add a little bit in here. There we go. So a little bit of this, this uh, cobalt in here, just a little bit. I know it's kind of scary sometimes to go back over this, but it is easy to do. I just put a little bit of the darker there and a little bit there. Okay, so now we're going to pick up these two colors together and we're going to do a couple buds. So the buds are just like that. And maybe one here. Let's get fresh paint again and one here is that kind of nice let's put one more here I think I might put a butterfly on there let's see okay now I can come in here with a smaller brush let's see if we can get, get um, a 10 or a 12 Let's do this 10. All right, so I'm going to come right under here. Let's get a little white here. I'm going to grab this bottom of this iris and I'm going to pull it down. There we go. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing to these guys. I'm going to grab it on this side and this side and pull it down. Grab it on here. And I'm just kind of pushing it down like I'm doing um, a daisy stroke. So I push down and then I pull it all the way. So we're going to go one side, two, and then pull. And I can come under here and if I feel like it needs it. And you don't really see it in here. But what I want to show you in here is I'm just going to take little strokes in here and a little bit in here. Okay, so can you see all those colors there? Now I'm going to wash out that brush. Now that was citrus and white. But what we need to have happen now, we do have another little spot that I'm going to bring in here. When you're looking at a, a pretty flower, it's nice to look at each little segment and address each one. So see, it had some darker blue in that area. And you saw me add this little darker blue there. Now, uh, for this to look really pretty, we usually put a little bit of yellow. So this is daffodil yellow on the tin. And then I can get a teeny bit white. And so what I wanna do, is there's a couple places we can go right here and tap it. And then we're going to tap it right along in here. And I'm pulling it kind of towards the middle. See, I'm pulling it right in there. 
So a little bit of daffodil, a little bit of yellow again. I mean, white again. Daffodil yellow and then wicker white. Okay. And we can put a little, little bit of that yellow and white in here. Okay. Does that not make that look pretty? We'll do the same thing over here on the small one. But uh, right on top of that citrus green. Okay, I guess we really didn't need the citrus green, but I was thinking I might just put a little bit of yellow around that, but <clears throat> see, I keep getting a little bit of white. There we go. So I can just take the handle, kind of set some yellow in there. I want to see, I want to see your practicing of these and share with us, okay? Now, <clears throat> I am wanting to come in here and just draw a butterfly really quick. <clears throat> so we're going to come right up here and we're going to curve a little bit like this. And then, then the bottom part of the butterfly, the bottom wing. Okay. And we can have one wing out here, just so you see the front view of it. I mean, the back view of it. All right. So it kind of help us if we come in here with the body. Sometimes I make the body screen. So here's the head and the body, okay? Now, <clears throat> what I wanna do is we're gonna use some orange in here. So this is pure orange. Now, one thing to do with butterflies that are really nice is we can come in here and get all kinds of color. Now this, the darker green background is making this orange not as bright as it is because you can see that orange is really bright. So one thing I can do is see, I'm, gonna, I'm just basing, base coating that in. But so let's come here and let's come at the very top here. And we'll work this in. What do you think? A little bit of that orange in. So, I mean, the yellow, daffodil yellow into the orange. There, a little bit here. And, all right, and then I'm going to get my liner. Okay, so we got um, we have the butterfly in place, and then um, we could put little white spots now. But it's easier to come in here. We're going to take water, not medium, when we're using a two script liner, and this is licorice. Okay, all right. So I'm going to turn it around so it's easy for me to get to the segments I want to work on. So one thing that happens is we come along here and we do a little wave of black, of your licorice. All right, you roll my brush into the licorice again. And so when I'm coming out here, I'm gonna come right this way and and this part right here, we just have a lot more of the licorice. All right, I just come right in here. So we'll do the same thing over here. All right, got that orange ridge, but I want to try to put black. That licorice right in that area. So we get it 
Right. You can do this any way you want. There's all kinds of butterflies. I just look at the butterfly and I decide where I want the spots, where I want the licorice. All right. So I cleaned that off because I kept picking up orange. <clears throat> so I'm going to come right in here. And see, I can pull a little teeny light licorice shading. But what happens is along here, there's another little line. And then um, in this upper part here, I brought some licorice along here. All right, then it has some really cool looks right in here. Just play with it. This can be a really pretty feature. And you can just make all kinds of little lines coming out from here. Okay. So he's got a couple of little legs. So he's like just two little ones that show here. So he's like touched there. But then what happens, guys, is we can put a little teeny bit of highlight down the body. All right. So now look, I've got thick white on here. I want you to see that I'm going to put this right along here. And then... We have some more specks in here. Kind of repeat on that second wing. All right, we have a little bit that goes out here. Isn't that fun how simple that butterfly is? All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna come right in here. I just have a few white spots in there. You can also come along in here give a little bit of highlight there and this just gets a little bit of black in here I think that's good enough I think we've got some spots in there to make oh we need an antenna don't we so we're going to touch and pull back touch and pull back alright so I think that I'm fine now since we put some licorice up there a little bit, we can come in here. And add just a little bit here and there. Just to pull this. <clears throat> See how just that teeny bit pulls it in because of the butterfly? And that's a nice feature. Our, our little iris. Just a little bit of detail. There we go. So I'm going to sign it and share it. How's that sound? I'm excited to see what you guys do. And enjoy enjoy okay all right we'll see you next time see you friday and please subscribe thank you very much for being part of relax and paint today all righty bye bye mm -hmm.